Hey guys, Sean with Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on YouTube. We've got episode 115 of Hot New For You, and we're gonna bring you another dually setup. This one's gonna be the fuel cleaver. So this is gonna be a 20. I'm gonna primarily talk about these three fellas and not really get into all the sizes and offsets because it's a dually. There's lots of sizes. There's lots of crazy weird offsets. I can't memorize them all. You can definitely jump out to the website and take a look. The easiest way to look at dually wheels is to go to the website, pick your size. So if you're looking for 20s and then put in your bolt pattern, that's already gonna get it narrowed down pretty fast. Or if you don't know bolt pattern, you can do your make model. But then what you can do is start looking at the crazy uh, negative 200 and some, negative 100 and some offsets. That's gonna show you the rear wheels. If you look at the crazy positive offsets, the positive 105s, the positive 127s, usually you can look by offset and that's how you're gonna see it. If you don't know at all what you're looking for, the easiest way is gonna, do, gonna be to do one of our quote forms. Dooleys are super complex. There's a lot of spacers involved. There's a lot of um, fitment issues involved. There's a lot of tire width involved. So we do wanna work one-on-one -on -one with you guys via email's the easiest because we can send you links and show you stuff. And that's why we do it that way and haven't built it into the website because it would be super complex. And we don't wanna land the wrong stuff on your doorstep because that is a nightmare. So I've got the 20 by eight and a quarter. So this is a 20 and it's the fuel cleaver and it's eight and a quarter wide. It's a dually, so of course it's gotta have a weird width to it. And then this one is a positive 105 offset. What that means is it's gonna fall flat on its face if I let it go because it's front heavy. Because if you look at it, that entire wheel is sticking out of the face, out, well out past the bead of the wheel and the tire. It's coming way out, that's a positive 105 offset. From the back, it almost looks like the opposite of the rear when I show you because that entire wheel, a positive 105, if you do the math, is actually further out than even the front of the wheel um, on the face. So that's why you've got this humongous back spacing back here. So that's the positive 105. A lot of times you're not gonna do a lot of choosing of the offset. It's really gonna be based on the vehicle and there's just certain offsets that fit certain vehicles until you start getting into spacers and getting into rubbing issues and all of that. So this is um, the uh, positive 105 and a 20 by eight and a quarter. What you'll see is that this is the gloss black. So it's got a gloss finish to it. It's got milled rivets all the way around it. It's gonna have exposed lug nuts so you can definitely run the uh, spike lug nuts. Most of the dually guys do end up running spike lug nuts because they just give it that whole extra mean look. Because it's got such a short cap and a fairly shallow lug nut hole, those spikes end up coming out a pretty decent distance. You'll also see that it's got machining on both the front and then also on the inside here, this one piece. And then inside the window here. So those three places all the way around is where it's gonna be milled on the edges. And then of course clear coated and give you that cleaver look that they're going for. The gloss black with the milled edges is gonna be the only finish that they're doing the fuel cleaver on these dualies, at least in these sizes right now. So that's gonna be the only one right there. Now I'm gonna show you the ugly little brother until I get to my favorite, which is the rear. This is gonna be your inner. Most of the times you will have to run an aftermarket inner because you've got to match up wheel size, tire size, all of that stuff. So it's very common to have to buy the inner. So you're gonna end up buying six wheels and six tires most likely if you're doing a complete setup change, especially if you're doing a drastic size change like this one did here. So the price range, a lot of people have been asking about that. When you're doing wheels and tires and TPMS and all that, you're right around that $5,000 mark. So four to five grand, depending on which wheels you pick. Um, with this wheels, with the Toy Open Country, AT2s, you're right around that $5,000 mark, which if you really look at it for six wheels and tires, and these are badass tires, these are one of our favorites, that's actually a pretty fair deal as far as um, how much you're getting for the money. So this is your rear. This one's gonna be a negative 200 and 175. So you can get what, a 236 I think is the largest offset, but then you've gotta start messing with spacers and different stuff and it gets pretty aggressive. So this one's a negative 175. Like I said, the offsets are really weird on these. That's why they're hard to memorize. Um, I'm not that good. You're gonna see the same pattern. So again, of course, it's semi-gloss. It's got the rivets milled all the way around. It's got the milling on the insides of the blades all the way around. This one, it's the rear, so it's gonna have this huge hub cap and your spike lug nuts are definitely gonna be lost inside of there. But if, I, if this was mine, I would run a chrome spike lug nut so it still pops inside of there and just gives the wheel one more um, definition. So this bad boy 
with that negative 176. It's either 175 or 176, doesn't matter, it's a millimeter. It's about eight and a half inches. So this is a 20 by eight and a quarter wheel, and it's got an eight and a half inch lip. Some people say, Sean, there's something wrong with you. There's no way it could be eight and a quarter and have an eight and a half inch lip. And I say, ha ha, yeah, it does. Because what happens is they're actually coming out the back of the wheel. So that lip is actually sticking out the back of the wheel, if you can imagine that. And obviously the mounting pad is way out the back of the wheel. So your back spacing, which you're typically used to measuring, which is this to this, is like negative four inches when all back spacing is usually positive. This is gonna be negative because it's flying right out the back of the wheel because that's your dually and that's the one that's gonna made up here and create a little bit of space here for the sidewall of these tires. If you get a wider tire and you start getting into where these sidewalls are gonna to wanna to touch, now you have to start putting in the spacers. Some companies make them, some companies don't. That's why you wanna work with us directly on a quote with these because we have to go through all of that and find out what you all need. So this one, same thing. This is the only finish I'm seeing it in this size. And then they, they do offer other sizes. You have to jump out on the website. We'll put all the links in the above or the below descriptions so that you guys can come look at these. But like I said, a custom quote is really the best way. And then we'll email you links of the, the different wheels so that you can see them depending on your application. So, did I cover any, everything, Junior? I feel like I did. I guess that's all I have to say about that. Make sure you guys hit us up in the comments and we can answer uh, more of the questions that way but we'll give you some uh, up close sneak peeks at these wheels.